डियर स्टूडेंट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट बी एंड सी ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर फोर एज आई हैव डिस्कस इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर पार्ट ए ऑफ द बेसिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल प्लान दैट इज डायरेक्ट रिक्वेस्ट दैट इज गुड न्यूज बाय यूजिंग डायरेक्ट अप्रोच डिडक्टिव मैथड सो फर्स्ट आई हैव टू क्लियर वन पॉइंट वट इज डिडक्टिव मैथड डेट वी यूज फॉर यूजली फॉर द गुड न्यूज और फॉर द न्यूट्रल स्टेटमेंट दैट वी यूज इन द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ एंड वी यूज इंडक्टिव मैथड और इनडायरेक्ट अप्रोच वाइल वेन यूज वी आर यूजिंग इन अ लेटर एनी बैड न्यूज सो वी यूज द इंडक्टिव मैथड और इनडायरेक्ट अप्रोच सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट बी ऑफ द बेसिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल प्लान नर पार्ट बी इज डायरेक्ट रिक्वेस्ट यूजिंग डायरेक्ट अप्रोच एंड सेम दिस इज डिडक्ट मैथड नाउ वट इज डायरेक्ट अप्रोच डायरेक्ट रिक्वेस्ट यूजिंग डायरेक्ट अप्रोच दिस पार्ट आई विल इंशाला एक्सप्लेन यू इन अ डिटेल सो इट विल बी क्लियर सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज मेन आइडिया मस्ट बी मैंशन डायरेक्टली सो मेन आइडिया मस्ट बी मैंशन डायरेक्टली इट मे बी रिक्वेस्ट स्टेटमेंट और क्वेश्चन नाउ in an any business letter or in a memo or in a sale letter when we are uh, giving good news so it may be or when we are giving request or when we are giving any statement so we have to mention it clearly in our first paragraph any sort of statement any sort of request or any sort of good news we have to mention it clearly in our first paragraph as i have told you earlier that first impression is the last impression so we have three parts now first i have discussed uh, that point main idea must be mentioned directly number two main idea may include reason for example if i am writing a uh, order letter so if i want to cancel it cancel the order so cancellation of order letter so we have to write it clearly in our second para we have to write it clearly in our second para means like because if we want to cancel our uh, order letter uh, we have to write it clearly so we can say that for example cancellation of the order most of the item are already in our stock we request you to cancel the order now it will be said in a proper tone or in a proper conversational tone uh, cancellation of order but in a proper conversational tone as i have mentioned most of our items are already in our stock so we request you to cancel the order means like i have mentioned it clearly that we have enough stock we don't want any order so kindly cancel that order so i have mentioned it very clearly and in a very polite way in my second part now three courteous close as we have already studied what is courtesy or courteous close courteous may be the polite way or polite tone uh, we usually use in at the end so as i told you that last impression is the passing impression and first impression is the last impression so last impression or closing is also important and opening is also important any so, uh, a letter which has good opening and closing it create good impact in the mind of the receiver and it it will create a good impact so we can say that courteous close means clear statement of the action desired for example we regret for the cancellation of the order it's very simple if we want to cancel the order in at the end we have to say it we regret for the cancellation of order hame pachhta hua hai ki hum apna ye jo order jo hai cancel karwa rahe hain so it means the cancellation of order it is already we have mentioned but we regret ya sorry for inconvenience that this kind of phrases that it create good impact in the mind of the uh, uh, the reader so we have Uh, usually discuss in this three parts i have first we have mentioned direct request first part main idea must be mentioned directly second part i have discussed main idea may include reason we have to mention it clearly and third it will be a courteous close or the statement might be mentioned in a polite way or in a polite tone that is clearly i have mentioned now we have part c that we are going to discuss in our lecture so bad news now see we have discussed good news here now now bad news bad news we usually give we use inductive method which kind of method 
inductive method and we use usually buffer buffer means like the neutral statement that we usually have to give uh, we don't start you know with a direct statement we have to use it buffer when we are giving bad news any sort of bad news in our first paragraph so now we are going to start number third bad news by using indirect approach of the basic organizational plan by using inductive method inductive method we usually use when we are uh, using bad news and and deductive method we are when we are giving neutral statement any sort of best news or good news and we use inductive method when we are giving any sort of bad news so any sort of bad news in our memos in our letters in our sale letters or sale promotional letters or any kind of business letter we use uh, that kind of method that is called inductive method by using indirect approach in an organizational plan now using indirect approach in bad news number 1 real information will not be given in the first paragraph why real information will not be given in the first paragraph because we have to use buffer now why we have to use buffer the reason is that because for example if i am writing any complaint letter so in case of complaint now i have to write it though it's a complaint but i have to write it in a way in our first paragraph we appreciate your letter of may 2 complaining about the content of the shipment now see we have we have appreciated the message though it's a complaint letter but we have used it as a buffer means we have used it as a neutral statement we are replying we are replying of a complaint letter but we are using a buffer for example another example i am giving you uh, if a manager want to increase the price of his product so he usually mention the first paragraph as we know the budget of a budget of our country is announced and we have a financial crisis so we are going to increase the price of a product now in a way that he he has to use buffer so it might be clearly uh, create good impact in the mind of the reader now next second part is that explanation explanation of that buffer now it must be written in a clear way for example it's a complaint it's a complaint letter we will inshallah in our coming lectures we will discuss the complaint letter order letters in our coming classes uh, order letters and complaint letter inquiry letter all sort of memos memorandum report we will discuss in detail but first a process a uh, communication uh, like the natural organizational plan a basic organizational plan how to write it out it's very difficult and especially bad news are using buffer it's a uh, written process is very difficult because like we you we have to you know uh, use it a clear tone in our first paragraph but using buffer so second explanation of a complaint letter or for example increase in pride we have to mention it clearly as i have discussed the budget of a country and we have to implement the prices in and we have to write it clearly that that price may be that one now onward this is the clear explanation understand the price of that product will be that one that is the clear explanation of the second so so number third we have to use it positive friendly close like courteous tone as we have discussed always at the end we have to use it courteous one like positive friendly close it will create good impact for the future uh, customer or disgruntled customer we have to satisfy them in future so it will create a good impact when we use positive friendly close at the end so though we know that we have increased the product of the prices uh, due to the financial crisis so we will continue our effort to serve you in a better way that is the ending so we have to write it in a clear way that it it will create the good impact because it is the process is the process of communication so we have discussed a part b and c part of the basic organizational plan in our lecture number 4 now inshallah d part we will discuss the persuasive request by using like aida method what is aida method i will discuss in my next lecture by using indirect approach or inductive method so i hope the concept is clear now we will discuss the part d in our next lecture thank you for listening